This is our supercharged, twin turbocharged, high RPM, seven liter Duramax. And we've been working on this thing for months. Today, it's time for a first fire. I'm Gail Banks. Welcome to Dino Cell number one. In our last episode, we rolled this engine out of the dino room and I went over everything that was on it. But there have been a few changes. Let me walk you through them. Last time you saw this, we had a dry sump system. We went to our Gen 1 military oiling system because we're working on a second design dry sump system. Along with it, we added a Banks wide gear LML oil pump. These we've never sold, but we build them for in-house projects. So we need a bit more oil flow capacity than a normal pump would give us because we've enlarged the piston cooling nozzles and that takes a lot more oil flow. One other change is we wanted to retain the heat in the turbine housings. So I went to my friends at Heat Shield Products and they provided us some beautiful turbine heat shields. If you want to know more about those, I did a whole unboxing video that you can refer to. And Vibrant came to the party big time. It was like they were raining stainless steel on us and quality hose and V-band clamps, their HD clamps, their stainless steel mandrel bends, their 321 stainless expansion bellows, all the plumbing pieces you could ever wish for. If you want to know more about the beautifully executed quality stuff made by a Vibrant. I did a whole unboxing video on that as well. Originally, the high pressure injection pumps were a pair of stock CP3s. We've since rethought that. SNS supplied us with one of their 14 millimeter strokers, and this baby will go to 5,000 RPM pump speed, where the stockers, it was all kind of questionable. So we went to one pump, where well, we had two, and we think this will get the job done. So we had to refab and reroute the front drive. We also found that we couldn't hit the low pressure, 15 PSI, we were looking for with the fuel system we had here in the cell. So we went to Aeromotive, and we got one of their really keen new series brushless pumps, this one being a five gallon per minute, and they make a range of capacities, and one of their in insanely cool regulators, which allows us to hit the 15 PSI lift pump pressure into this SNS pump right on the money. And if you're interested in the aeromotive equipment, I did an unboxing on that as well. And in the interest for really accurate fuel flow measurement, we added two Andres and Hauser Coriolis fuel flow meters, one for supply and one for return. This stuff is laboratory quality. So now you know what's new. How about we bark this puppy? As we normally do in a first fire, I want to see if it, the engine's got oil pressure to start with. So let's crank it for oil pressure. Get some oil through this thing. All right. All right. Yeah. Lift pump on. There it goes. <laughs> it's alive. All right, what's your pressure looking like now? It's at uh, 41 PSI. Yeah, and what's our idle speed? 1200. Okay. All right, Jeff, let's build a little heat in it. So the temperature's coming up. The cooling tower is not online yet. Cylinder pressure at this light load is about 96 bar, looking pretty good. So we're at 1,850 RPM, we're making about 45 horsepower, and we're just building heat in this pub. 
soon as the cooling tower comes online, we should be ready to run. We'll give her a little more load. Otherwise, I, I, it'll be tomorrow morning and I'll have to shave. <laughs> and there it goes. All right. All right. Now we're looking pretty good all around. So what we're going to do here is we're going to run 3,800 RPM. Just kind of ease into it. We don't know anything about what the air density output will be from the turbochargers what the air density output will be from the blower, how well the air density will be improved. We've got two intercoolers. We don't know how well that air density improvement will work. So we're going to be soft. We're going to go to about 25 to 1 air fuel ratio at 3,800 RPM. And then we're going to read the data. I can't wait for the data. I mean, this is a whole new beast. Okay, here we come. There's 3,800. Air fuel in the 40s. 300 horsepower. All right, 400. Five, 600. 670, where's that air fuel ratio? All right, that does it, let's pull it out. Okay, we're looking good. I saw well over 700 horsepower and well over 1,000 pound feet. I think it's time to start tuning with that Motec M142 ECM. What do you think? Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Thank you, Jeff, well done. It's the first run of our supercharged twin turbo 7 liter Duramax. There's way more to come.